Okay, take a look at this set of beliefs as articulated by uh, a philosopher named Nicole Evans, who is, gosh, I think she's at Cambridge University. It doesn't matter. Okay, so here's the belief system. If the mind is identical to the brain, then personal freedom does not exist and humans are not responsible for their actions. If personal freedom does not exist, then the mind is identical to the brain. Either humans are responsible for their actions or the mind is not identical to the brain. If personal freedom exists, then humans are responsible for their actions. Okay, question on the table for, this, for us is this. Does this philosophy make sense? Is it possible that all of these statements could be true? Well, guess who gets to answer that question? You do. Okay, so we're going to create an indirect truth table for this belief system to see if it's possible for all of the statements that comprise the belief system to be true at the same time. We're going to use the letter M to represent the statement the mind is identical to the brain. We're going to use F to represent the statement personal freedom exists. And we're going to uh, use R to represent the statement humans are responsible for their actions. Now notice that all of these statements are expressed in the affirmative, but in this statement, uh, uh, the expression of the belief system, we've got a lot of these statements being being expressed in the negative, which means that when we symbolically represent the statements of this belief system, we're going to be using tildes on some of these um, letters, okay? So what I want you to do is pause your video, create your truth table, see if you can deduce all the logically necessary truth values for the component parts by assuming all of the main operators are true. And when you've got your answer, when you know that this state, these statements are either consistent or inconsistent, go ahead and restart your video. All right. I hope you did this because uh, there's some really interesting implications to the truth table for this statement. Okay, so we've got this statement symbolized as follows. First statement is M horseshoe, and then we have tilde F dot tilde R in parentheses. The second statement is tilde F horseshoe M. Third statement is R wedge tilde M. And the final statement is F horseshoe R. All right. So now we're going to have to deduce uh, the, whatever logically necessary truth values we can when we assume the main operators are true. And as you probably discovered, we've got a mess of statements here with main operators that can be true in three different ways. There's three different combinations of true-false values that allow these operators to be true, which means we're going to need three lines in this truth table. Now remember, all it takes is to be able to deduce all the logically necessary truth values on one line to prove these statements consistent. We don't necessarily have to do all three lines if we complete the first line first. So we're going to throw a dart at one of these statements. Maybe you picked this second statement here, uh, tilde F, and maybe you picked this wedge. I chose F and R to work with just arbitrarily. I like, to, I like starting with one uh, statement on one far edge or the other. Um, so F, uh, horseshoe R, I just went with the first pair of true-false combinations to be assuming both sides of the horseshoe are true. When I make that assumption, when I make the assumption that the statement personal freedom exists is true and the statement humans are responsible for their actions is true, I was able to deduce all of the other logically necessary truth values without contradiction, thus proving these statements are consistent, okay? It's possible this belief system makes sense. Now, you may have started with a different um, uh, statement as your initial assumptions, uh, with your initial assumptions, and maybe you had to run more than one line. That's okay. If you had to run two lines or three lines, one of those lines should have allowed you to deduce all the logically necessary truth values without contradiction. In the next lecture, I'm going to talk about the significance of what this truth table reveals.